journey. My dear children of class 3, I welcome you all for today's class. So children, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and taking care of your self and doing well in your studies. So children, this is your physical instructor, A.D. Chapter. And today we are going to study in physical education we and environment our third lesson now in this lesson what are we going to learn and what are we going to know from this lesson and how important it is for each one of us so in this lesson we are going to study about cleanliness of surroundings yes a cleanliness if you want to be fit, if you want to be strong, if you want to take care of your good health and the surrounding where we are staying. It may be near our house, it may be near the playground, it may be in our school and so many other places. But the major thing, we should take care of the cleanliness around us where we are staying, where we are going often and often every day. Now here are some few important points where we should take care of our surroundings so that we can be strong, healthy and good and the place will also be beautiful wherever we are and let us know more in detail. So cleanliness of Surrounding, so the place where we are surrounded. So cleanliness of classroom. So we have to take care of our classroom. Now in our classroom, there are benches, chair, dustbin, table, board, and so many other things. Windows, door. Now if there is dust particle, we get problem for breathing so many different different problems will start coming so what we should do is we should keep our classroom clean because every day we are going there can we stay where there is a dust where there is no cleanliness the waste is fallen there in the, the paper wrappers are there hmm? Then uh, so many other things are fallen here and there. The chalk duster, the dusted chalk powder is there. Then you have so many other things in your classroom. You have uh, corner tables, we have, we have door, windows. So some other way there will be dust on those parts. So we have to dust our benches every day. We should see that our board is clean. There is no chalk powder fallen down. Our bench, then our tables are clean and all. Now let us know about the second. That is playground. Yes, very important. <coughs> we play so many different games on the ground. And we run, we jump, we sit. Yes or no? Now, if the ground is not clean if there are some stones you will get hurt you will be injured papers plastic and some waste material is there on the ground broken glass pieces is there so not only hurt but it will even affect our health where we can face problem for breathing then we get sneezing and so many other germs will be present which will infect our body and in this way we will fall sick we will fall ill so we should clean even our ground because we will be playing over there we will be sitting on the ground we will be running on the ground so we should see that our playground is clean now point number three it's very important our toilets because often and often it may be most probably you take care in your house so whenever you are going for toilet see that before the use of the toilet you should flush the water properly 
after use of the toilet again we should flush the water properly now what happens if we don't flush the water and if we don't keep our toilets clean a lot of germs will be present in the toilet so which we uh, you get some bacteria you get some germs the flies which are very dangerous for our health and we may fall sick so there are so many diseases happening to us if we don't use clean toilet we don't use it properly and if we go in a that dirty thing we get affected by so many flies which will be present in the toilet so before use of the toilet we should flush the water properly we should see that it is clean and after the use also it should be clean and now point number 4 that is our bathroom when you are in a house see that the wall tiles are there usually so the water is not stagnant over there it is going properly in the pipeline hmm? you have kept your things properly your soap brush paste shampoo and whatever required material in the bathroom is needed so you keep your bathrooms also clean and use proper water to take care of your health so that even through that water or through that cob well so many germs will be wandering here and there in the washroom and in your bathrooms too so you should clean and keep your bathroom clean and fresh so that you will not fall sick then our home it may be our kitchen it may be our bedroom it may be our hall our study room we should see that every day we broom our house if you can you are most welcome to do your house work if some uh, workers will be there some maids will be there at your home so see that they clean the house but as your responsibility see that you will not throw your bag here and there your clothes your shoes your socks and so many different playing materials you will be having so everything should be placed properly so you should see that your sofa set is nicely dusted there is no dust on it it has been clean brooming has been done on no your clothes you have kept in your cupboard not throwing and the used clothes you are keeping back not in your cupboard you are throwing keeping in for washing so this is how you are going to take care of your cleanliness in your house then it may your benches are there uh, this tables are there study table bench is there or whatever materials are there in the house see that everything is arranged properly and the cleanliness part also you are taking care of it so this way you are going to take care in your house and then the garbage management is very important the food material been wasted or the food material which has been left after the use and which is there in our vessels so you see that the vessel is been clean the waste garbage whatever is there you collect in a carry bag or you have a dustbin bag see that it is been thrown not here and there in the house or on the street where the garbage dump uh, spots are there you should dump it there only and if you have composite pit near your house so you can throw the garbage there because so many dirty flies will be there which will affect which will spread the germs by biting mosquitoes will come there flies will be coming there so the garbage management should be taken care how you are going to take you are going to use dustbin bags or you use the dustbin and it should be thrown in a proper garbage place only it should not be thrown in the street or in the gutters or not be kept longer in our house so children this is about the cleanliness of our surrounding where we are staying where we are playing uh, where we are going for walk and 
so many other places near our house or our school surrounding so this is about the cleanliness we are going to take care so these are the place and this is the way you are going to learn to keep your surrounding clean so that everyone is fit everyone is healthy and along with everyone even you are healthy strong fit children i hope you all will follow this cleanliness near your house in your surrounding in your school too now it's time to sign off and i will meet you very soon in our next class of physical education so till then take care have a great day bye bye jai hind